Now let's talk about men, not in bikinis, but who is nominated for an Oscar this year? All right, and you know, it's always fun to see them in these small, sometimes unusual roles that they had to take when they were just starting out. Ask me about my wiener. Before Jonah was a foul-mouthed wolf of Wall Street, he was just a weenie. Hey, ask me about my wiener. Hilarious and humble beginnings for Jonah Hill in 2006's Accepted. I hated wearing those suits, actually. I'll say that openly. <laughs> I did not have fun wearing them. I hope there's some sort of enjoyment for the audience because it was miserable. Where are you from? Where am I from? Yes, because you are breaking the rules. <laughs> this may be every girl's dream come true. Bradley exploring a nudist colony in the 2000 series Globe Trekker. Yes, ladies, he does join in, but you can't see much of anything. Sorry. But you know what? I'm never going to wear clothes again. You could be badgers or something down there. Check out that baby faced Leo and his big screen debut in Critters 3. But those critters couldn't hold him back. Two years later, he became an Oscar nominee for What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Do you remember what the job was that got you your side card? Dazing of Views, 1992. That's right. Before Matthew was an Oscar nominee, he was taking small roles in films like Dazed and Confused, working his way up to Oscar status. Now here's a fun one for you. Behind the wig and lipstick is Oscar-nominated Chiwetel Ejiofor dressed in drag for Kinky Boots. I wanna be wicked. Actually, she didn't tell me. She was talking to Monsieur Gilliard. I heard them. Long before Christian Bale was an American hustler, he was just a kid starring in a 1986 TV movie. Our first interview with him dates all the way back to 1987. No, not until I was about 10. Then I decided that I, this is what I wanted to do.